Hey everyone, Joe here, and we're gonna answer one of our more common questions that we get today, and that is, what is the difference between an NVR and a DVR? Thanks for joining us today. As you can see here, I have two recorders sitting right next to me. One is an NVR and the other is a DVR. You may be familiar with these terms and know that both of these are used in the CCTV industry to record and capture video signals from your cameras. They are different pieces of equipment, however, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about each one, their benefits, strengths, and weaknesses, and where you would use these pieces of technology. First, let's take a look at DVRs. Firstly, know that DVR stands for Digital Video Recorder. This technology has been commercially available since around 1999, which makes it a little bit older than its NVR counterpart. All a DVR does is take video from an external source, such as this coaxial camera, and encode and record it to its internal hard drive digitally. In CCTV, DVRs are used to capture the incoming video signal from cameras using coax cables connected to the ports on the back of the DVR that you see here. The signal transmitted can be analog, but more commonly as a digital signal. The DVR has processors capable of encoding and compressing the incoming video signal to make better use of space. This space is located on as many hard drives as is installed in the DVR. Most modern DVRs are hybrid systems, capable of using more than one digital or analog video signal type. Most of our DVRs can actually add a certain number of IP cameras as well, though how many and for what channels you're able to add them depend on the model of DVR. So you may be asking yourself, can't NVRs do all this as well? Not exactly. There are some key differences, so let's talk a little bit now about NVRs. NVR stands for Network Video Recorder, which leads right into one of the major and more obvious differences between DVRs and NVRs. NVRs only work with IP or network cameras. They cannot take the analog or digital video signal input from a coax camera. Some NVRs supply power over Ethernet, or PoE, right from an onboard PoE port cluster. Other NVRs connect to cameras on an external PoE switch on the same local network. Additionally, unlike DVRs, the vast majority, if not all the processing done to encode the video data and compress it does not take place on the NVR. IP cameras usually do their own data compression and encoding, then send this data to the NVR to be recorded to its hard drives. This is an advantage because this frees the NVR's processing power up for other activities with less bogging down, including remote viewing with less lag, playback and exporting with less chop, and advanced features like artificial intelligence processing. Because of that extra processing power headroom we discussed, NVRs are a little bit better at doing some of those features we mentioned just a minute ago. Additionally, they're more commonly associated with working with higher resolution cameras like 4K and up. DVRs and coax cameras are better for installations that might already have some equipment on site from an older install. IP cameras and NVRs can be better on newer installations where less cables need to be run for a brand new install. But there's tons of other reasons why each of these setups can be beneficial in their own way. We've got two great videos, one about the benefits of IP cameras and the other about the benefits of coax cameras. And you should check out those videos. Links can be found in the bottom of the description. Thanks for joining us today as we talked about the primary differences between NVRs and DVRs. If you liked the video or found it helpful, don't forget to toss us a like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe.